this first paragraph under description, you want to, it's like a marketing copy statement. You want to write something that will draw your audience in. This part is usually going to be printed on the website or in the flyer. Or like, this is what the conference will use as uh, the marketing information for your talk to get people to come to it. So you want it to be like really interesting. And this is a good place to have like Austin or Emily or Jody review what you're writing because they, they have experience writing copy. Um, the first paragraph here is almost exactly the same as my introduction paragraph from my Foundry article. <laughs> and then uh, we have a bullet point list. And usually this list starts in this session and then you don't keep secrets. You have no reason to keep secrets or your big punch from your talk and not tell the people who are going to get it because you won't have another chance to explain it to them. So maybe you have a really awesome idea for a talk and you want to keep it like, oh, I don't want to, I want to surprise them and I want it to like really come out and like, I think with the point. No, you want to tell them every single thing that you're planning to put in your talk exactly as it is, no secret, so that you are not a risk hmm. picking it up. So um, in this part, it says in this session, I made a bullet point list. It's just a single sentence uh, uh, sort of summary of each of the paragraphs or sections in my Foundry article. So that's nice. And then this last section is like, this session is for you if your team uh, uses GitHub. So this session is for you. It's like the, why should I come to this event? And here you are talking to people again that are going to attend your talk at a conference, but you're still trying to sell your talk. So this should be like, how does my talk apply to multiple people that are going to attend this conference? And they will leave a good review and come back to the conference and pay more money at the conference. So you want to like hit all kinds of specific scenarios or personas, like a project manager would say a persona. You want to hit a bunch of different people are going to attend your talk that we're going to find useful. And that's it. That's an abstract. That's, that's yeah, Sessionize is one of a couple of different apps that uh, conferences use to keep track of, of, of talks you get. Um, so you stick your submission in there. They're going to ask you, like, what is it? A session is usually a 30-minute, 45-minute, or an hour-long talk that's just you talking to a room of people. Um, there are also <laughs> workshops and, like, other different things conferences may do special. A uh, track at a conference, you may have attended a conference, and they, you, they sometimes will say, oh, this is the web track, or this is the design track, or this is the developer track, or this is the JavaScript track. Um, get as many of those as they will let you, or put it as broad as possible, because they can always funnel you into a different track, but if you would say something's really narrow, uh, like you say, oh, this is only for people who used to be Ruby developers, and now they're exclusively sales developers, that's going to say, oh, a bunch of people are going to really want to go to this talk, we're going to this talk as broad. So as broad as possible, I usually like to stick talks on soft skills like this one in a developer bucket, or like a um, soft skills bucket if they have that too. Level, this one's introductory. Be honest here, introductory talks don't always um, win over advanced talks because some conferences like to have a good mix of both. Um, and then tag it as much as possible, again, as much as they'll let you. And then there's this notes and comments section. Every single time I've submitted a talk, there's been this extra section. It's just like, not your, your abstract, but anything else you want to tell us and really use that. So I like to explain um, who I want my talk to go to, um, a little bit about Sparkbox, um, maybe some things about my credibility. So like in here, I was like, I gave this talk before and here's a YouTube link to it. Um, and here's my blog post. So I've talked to two different people that were directly involved with accepting talks at conferences, and they both are like, we really love that you wrote this blog post out because you're not going to write the talk the night before. The last thing is, a lot of times the biggest challenge to applying to a conference is finding a conference to apply to because you're either not on the newsletter, you pretty much have to attend a conference, or somebody posts in a conference channel. I've had really good luck with this newsletter chain. It's just some random guy named Carl wrote a, a bot that People can submit conferences, and then he'll email you like once a week. It's not super spammy. Um, it has links to how to apply, and that's just cfpland.com.